Today we're speedrunning through Choo Choo Charles, a game that I've been excited about for a while. Now our speedrun will start as soon as we skip past our first cutscene and we get to hear Eugene go, Yes sir. Gotta love Eugene. But yeah, basically we're gonna get boated over and Eugene is gonna explain what exactly our mission is, which is going to take out the spider train called Choo Choo Charles. So we arrive at a pretty dark island, not sure why we came at night, but to start out it's kind of just a tutorial. We have to wait for Eugene, talk to him, then go through this door, see his eyeballs, which is kind of my favorite part part about the speedrun and that we're ditching Eugene because he's pretty slow and we already know where we need to go which is going to be over to a shed to get a key so we can open up a door and get to our train pretty standard movement on the way over there just sprinting and stuff and once we make it over to this building we're just opening the door picking up the key and jumping past that fence for some reason Eugene didn't want to come with us he's just waiting over here but you know he's going to get what's coming to him in just a bit because we're going straight over to the train we're going to use the gun go to Eugene talk to him and then we can start the train right away instead of going through all the other stuff. And yeah, we crash right through there and it's time to take on Charles. We're coming for you, Charles! Yeah, Eugene, we're coming for you. Anyways, here's where Charles is first gonna show up and Eugene wants to teach us how to shoot him, but we're gonna stand here and kind of just watch. Actually, I'm not even going to watch. I'm gonna look away after a little bit because we wanna start our train as soon as possible. As soon as Charles kills Eugene, it's going to stop the train because it wants us to wait for him and go check on him. But yeah, we don't really care. A little cold blooded, but I'm sure that Eugene is really happy with Charles right now. They're made for each other. And yeah, other than that, Charles leaves us alone for now so we can make our way to our first waypoint, which is going to be this NPC. Thankfully, you can open the map while the game is still going, so the train will still move while we have to mark objectives. But for this first part of the game, we're kind of just riding the train for a bit. The map in this game is huge, so we're gonna combine both riding the train and running ourselves. Like right here, we're not gonna switch the rails, we're instead going to go left which you'll see why we're doing this in just a little bit. And I'm gonna wait until I'm about 450 meters away until I start running. Okay, we seem about at that point, so I can start running straight over to my objective. And yeah, there's not too much to say here. I'm pretty sure Charles can't actually attack you right now. I could be wrong, but I've never gotten him to attack me right here. So we're kind of just running. And it's also nice because it's a pretty direct way over to our waypoint. Sometimes we will want to utilize things like jumps if the train's a little rocky, but for the most part, we can just run. Now, once we make it over to this first building, we're gonna get a couple of things called scrap. These are what we can use to upgrade our train and give our train more health if it starts breaking down. So what we wanna do is pick up a couple of scrap. There's gonna be about four right here that we're gonna to wanna to get before we talk to this lady named Helen, who is going to tell us our first objective, which is to collect three eggs so we can use that to actually battle Charles to the death. And yeah, that's our first NPC who gives us a key to make our way over to the egg. After that, we wanna get our flamethrower. We'll see this guy with his building burning on fire and we're gonna help him. What we're gonna do is come up here, get a little more scrap because it's always nice to have a good amount and turn on this, which is gonna cause some water. We can go jump right down and he's going to give us the bug spray, which like I said, it's pretty much just a flamethrower. Now after this, we're gonna grab that scrap as well and head over to the right, kind of following the rails, but a more direct path to our next objective, which is going to be the first cave where the cultists live. Yes, this game has cultists who worship the spider train and wanna help him instead of hurt him. And they're gonna be the ones protecting his eggs, so we have to make our way through them, trying not to die. Eventually, we'll make it over to this cliff side. I can jump right down. There's gonna be another piece of scrap right at the entrance, and we can open this door since we got the key from Helen. After this, it's a pretty linear path. We're kind of just running forward because we know where to go. I mean, it's a little more scary when you're actually playing it the first time, but it's a speed run. Horror games always become much less scary when you're speed running them. It's going to try to introduce us to stealth, but we actually don't want to use stealth for one very specific reason. And that's because we actually want this guy to kill us, but not before we make it out of the cave. We'll take the egg right there, we'll get some more scrap, and I'm gonna keep checking back to make sure the guy's following me because sometimes their AI can get messed up like right there. I'm not sure what he was doing, but yeah, we just want him to follow us out of the cave. Otherwise, it's not gonna be safe that we got the egg, so we gotta make sure he stays aggro. Now, as soon as we're able to make it out of the cave, you'll see that our objective got updated so we can then go back, get this guy to shoot us in the face a couple of times. We do lose two scrap, I believe you can lose anywhere from one to three scraps, so that was okay. But we're gonna load back in where our train was when we left it. Luckily, when you jump off the train, it actually stops moving, so we don't have to worry about it just going on forever. And yeah, this is gonna put us in the perfect place to go to our next objective. Now, right now, what I'm gonna look for is some boxes. Basically, there can be some boxes that randomly spawn, and they'll give you extra scrap, which is really important for our final fight. And we actually found one right here, which is very lucky. So I'll jump off our train. It looks like we just got three. You can get any 
anywhere from one to nine scrap from those boxes so that was okay also then go upgrade my speed one more time go into my map and set our next waypoint which is going to be in this little crevice where we're going to get another weapon but yeah other than that we just got to ride the train for a while oh and we just heard charles okay so whenever you hear charles bells he might be coming towards you but sometimes he's not able to find you and it looks like we're safe this time anyways at this next intersection we do want to change the rails so we go over to the right instead of the left i'm still a little worried about charles but it looks like we're gonna be fine and we can just keep going forward now after this we're not gonna change these rails even though it would be a more direct path where we have to go because we're gonna just jump off the train as soon as we get around 330 meters away so i will wait to about there and then we're gonna start our next running and jumping simulator but this one doesn't last that long we're pretty close and on the way there is going to be this building i don't know what you would call it this monument i guess we'll say where we can get that scrap right there which i almost missed and also scrap in the grass just moving on our way after that though and now that we're over here there's also going to be two more scrap one on that platform and one on the ground right there before we go over to our dynamite because we have to open up something with this oh i'm also going to take that scrap and there's going to be this door which we can use the dynamite might on so we'll place that we're gonna go fairly far away from it so it doesn't murder us it's going to explode now the door is open then we can also come right here move that rock so those explosives are gonna start moving and once we wait a little bit then it's going to explode too don't worry about all this red stuff it's just paint surely and we're gonna take those explosives and then also get the scrap which now we can go over to John Smith the nice thing about this game as you've been seeing is we don't have to actually talk to an NPC to start their mission we can just do the mission and then go to them afterwards so that's nice because because it would kind of just be pointless if we had to talk to everybody. But yeah, we can take a pretty direct path over here, get three more scrap on the way. And once we make it over to this building, there's where John Smith is gonna be. And he's gonna give us the boomer, which is the rocket launcher. After this, we have one more person to talk to so we can get our next key. I will also take their scrap on the way. We'll talk to Greg, we got another key, and now it's time to die. And the way that we have to die here since we don't have any cultists is just jumping off while also collecting scrap while we're doing it. So I'm gonna go to the top of this building, jump off, a couple of times and there we go we got derailed and we also lost three scraps right there which really is not good we're gonna need some lucky boxes if we want to get a good run but yeah we're spawning back at our train and we're gonna be going to our next waypoint after we see this map thing and we have to go to this blue person which is gonna be our next required mission on the way there I also will upgrade my damage we can only do it to level three right now like I said we definitely need to get some lucky boxes but yeah we're just gonna be on these rails for a while we're about to get to a part where it's just pretty RNG because we really don't don't want Charles to come after us we'll take this path over there and once we get around 850 meters away I'm gonna start jumping away and this is going to be a very long trek if Charles finds us we're dead and we lose the run so yeah we'll just hope that doesn't happen oh and there's going to be Charles Bell again which is very scary I'm just gonna keep running and hope that he doesn't find us and it looks like we're actually fine I'm pretty surprised we've gotten this lucky with Charles so far but now we've made it to our waypoint and we also see another box this is actually really good luck We'll check in here and that is a ton of scrap was that just nine okay well this run just became amazing we'll also take that scrap and talk to our boy gail who is going to give us our last key and then we can leave gail because after this we have our next person which is going to set up a trap for charles and we can run pretty much in this direction i'm really not too worried about extra scrap now there is some additional scrap you can take for safety but we just got that box with nine so we're kind of doing really well anyways we'll come over to this building it's a little bit laggy over in this area but we'll just go through here there's going to be two scrap on these tables and the floor i believe that was charles again actually but hopefully he's not going to find us yet again and we'll talk to paul who wants us to set up explosives on this bridge so we can use it to take out charles later i don't know if that was charles again i thought i heard him but whatever it doesn't look like he's coming to us and now we can set up these explosives we have to set up eight in total four on each side of the bridge we'll also pick up some scrap on the way just like usual then we can get these ones and they're in pretty easy places too you kind of just run through that's going to be oi and now we can return to paul and there's going to be another box this is like the luckiest rng i've ever gotten and that is also six scrap yeah this is a really good run i do not want to lose it so let's go talk to paul and make our way to the next cave with the cultists all right paul thank you he has it all set up 
and now we're actually going to be able to fight Charles at the end of the game. And with this, I usually use this tree as a waypoint. I follow that direction and that's going to take us to our next area. We can take this scrap on the way and there's going to be another cave which we can just drop down, also get that scrap. Somebody is going to see us, but they're way too slow to catch up to us. And now it's time for another creepy cave and hoping that we don't get unlucky because I have lost runs to this area before if the cultists are in unlucky positions. But as long as that doesn't happen, it looks like we should be fine. I'm gonna open that up while we're waiting for it to open. I'll get these two more scrap. Someone did notice us, but we're doing fine. We have plenty of health and all we have to do at this point is grab that scrap as well as get one of the guards to notice us and he's gonna be the one that's gonna follow us. After this, we have to open up this bridge. We got this guy following behind us. Luckily, they don't do that much damage or we're just like Superman because yeah, we barely lose any of our health, which is very nice. I'm just gonna check, make sure that he is still running behind us before we make it over to the exit. And again, we're gonna die so we can go straight back to our train. All right, thank you. I appreciate that. And that's only one scrap lost, which is pretty good. Now, as soon as we spawn here, we're gonna immediately leave the train and there's going to be a waypoint that's already set for us, but we're gonna go slightly more over to the left. And this is because we have our last cave to get our final egg and it's gonna be over in this direction. I use those lights over there to figure out where to go. And yeah, it's pretty easy to figure out. Then after that, we can follow this path to where there's all these gigantic stones. Not sure what they're doing there, but we will take this scrap outside if I can actually pick it up and go into our final cave, which this one is probably the coolest one in my opinion. I just like how big it is, how many cultists are around, and hopefully they will not be able to murder us. First, we're gonna go through here. There's gonna be two of these scraps and there's gonna be plenty of guys that can notice us, but just like usual, we're way faster than them. So we don't really have to worry too much. I've almost lost runs here before, but yeah, it's not that likely. We will go down here. That guy just completely missed his shot, kind of embarrassing. And we made it down to the bottom now. Here we really wanna hope that someone doesn't notice us. This guy can just be walking around the entire place, but it looks like he's not gonna find us either. And there's gonna be our last egg, which we can grab right there and move on our way out. We'll take the left path over here where there's gonna be this chest that we can't open up. Go up here and it's gonna conveniently place us by a bunch of cultists because yeah literally as soon as we pop up all these cultists are just sitting here so we're gonna let ourselves die while we also get a little more scrap and yeah thanks i appreciate it guys that's also gonna be minus three again but honestly it's kind of fine i mean we've gotten so many boxes already i'm going to increase my damage to level five and I guess we'll also increase our armor and finally increase our train health. We should be good to take on Charles. The train's also gonna be in the perfect position to go over to the last place where we have to set up the eggs to actually fight Charles. So yeah, we're just making our way over there and there's going to be another box. Okay, I don't know if I actually need this one, but better safe than sorry, that's gonna give us four scrap. And yeah, this is actually the most insane RNG I've ever had in my life. But you can see this big building off into the distance. So I'm gonna get off my train and just run up there. Again, there's gonna be a bunch of cultists guarding it, but just like usual, they're not that good at killing us, so we can just run through. Hey guys, how you doing? Please don't kill me. I really don't want to lose this run. And we'll make it through this door, which we can use our last key. And there we go. We now start the cutscene, which we're going to skip. And now it's time to fight Charles, which we have our rocket launcher and we also have our flamethrower or I guess bug spray, but you know, we're just gonna go flamethrower. Otherwise I'm gonna forget. But yeah, we basically just wanna switch between the two of these things. We wanna rocket launcher him because it does a ton of damage. And we wanna use our flamethrower because it does constant damage since he goes on fire. I also wanna make sure that my train has enough health, which is where the extra scrap is gonna come in useful. Because yeah, if we lose enough health, then Charles is gonna be able to kill us. And obviously I really don't wanna lose this run. So we were so close to dying right there that was a little scary but okay charles um you want to be faster dude i'm trying to go fast i'm trying to speed run please charles yeah this boss fight is a little rng just depending on what charles does but that's going to be getting into his second phase or i guess his third phase we just finished his second phase and i don't really know if you can call these phases but they kind of are because they have the shortcut scene in between them but yeah he's more than half dead i still have plenty of scraps i'm going to use some right here because our train's about to die and i only have three more so we really have to finish this guy off all right charles i just need you to work with me that's going to get in your next cutscene which means there's only one fourth of his health left. So I want to rocket launcher him. That did not hit him at all, I'm pretty sure. But we have plenty of health. We just used the last of our scraps. So I really hope that Charles isn't going to kill me here. And we could get a very good time. I'm going for the sub 23. Come on, Charles, just get taken out. I'm going to switch to the rocket launcher. Hit him with that. One more rocket launcher will probably do it. I'll use a little bit of fire. And then here you go, bud. And that's going to be time. And I ended the timer a little bit late, but I think that was actually a 2259. That's also going to put us in 11th place on speedrun.com so i'll take it all right subscribe if you enjoyed bye